Hey guys, Lego Lover back again um, for another layout video. Today's layout video is another, um, well, it's kind of an update on the Midland Sodor layout. I know I just uploaded a Midland Sodor layout um, showcase yesterday or so, I believe. But um, I got to thinking uh, uh, there was a user named Oliver Duck, uh, which is my good buddy Ted. Hi, Ted. And um, he commented on there er, and said, well, and uh, talked about a mod, a mod, a modification that I could do with, with the T switch. Um, and that was to move it from the docks over to the branch line over here so I could correct my little problem that I had with the branch line, which is actually a pretty good idea. Um, so yeah, I've kind of made the branch line into one big loop now because they can either, because the engines can either go we or they can go straight. But with this change also came some other changes to the layout. Significantly, this area right here that used to be all straight, sadly it can no longer be straight because of um, the fact that I had to use two smaller curved tracks there and I would usually put a curved track there a like a real short curved track so the points would be switched um, they would go this way like that but it doesn't really work that way because it doesn't line up exactly correctly to the well this part lines up to there but as you can see it doesn't line up to this I don't know maybe I'll fix that Maybe I'll go back and fix it, but for now it's kind of... Actually, you know what, I'm going to see if I can fix it. Okay, so good news viewers, through my uh, expertise layout building skills, I have been able to make this area straight once again. It's no longer a big curvy area, so it finally looks right. Um, that was basically done by taking this small curve track out of the curve over here and putting in a long curve piece and a shorter straight piece that leads to the T-switch. So uh, this part of the layout now looks right again. So um, uh, yeah, um, unfortunately this switch will have to stay back like this. So <clears throat> that's due to the fact that I don't have another uh, male male uh, piece like like this one because I've used all three of mine um, I have a female female which wouldn't really do me too good that's one of the only pieces that's left over um, which is surprising I usually use that in almost every layout that I build but um, not this layout or not this updated layout so yeah on um, the docks have also went through some changes as well and I ran out of curved pieces again so this piece was the only curved piece I had left, and I had that switch left over. I really don't know where that switch would have gone. I really don't know where it came from to begin with, but, um... So, yeah, the docks... The, the docks, for the most part, this area went back to normal. This, like, straightaway area. Um, except that the straightaways are a bit longer, but that's okay with me. Um, I don't have the big loop. But, as you can see, I did put in that little Brio turntable that I had in the narrow gauge layout. Um, that's here at the docks, too. Oh, also in the Steamworks layout. Obviously, not all of the sidings are uh, functional, but three of them are. So, it's a nice little piece. It adds some more storage space in the docks. And then the Brendam Fishing Dock gets its own little siding over here. And... Uh, sadly, Cranky can only load up one line, but I guess the other line will just have to, like, be patient or something. I don't know. So, I think I've shown you almost everything uh, that will work with the layout. Um, obviously, the T-Switch was the biggest change that really screwed up almost everything. <laughs> now, let me show you the part by the stone bridge. I don't think that's changed too much. There's my sock again. My sock makes a makes a showcase for itself in both layouts. 
Maybe he likes the camera. I don't know. But again, that curve comes all the way around, comes to the stone bridge, and then goes around another curvy thing, I guess. It's a little unsafe to come off of a hill and then hit some curves, but, you know, Goran will just have to, like, slow down a bit. Then my sheds, of course, stayed the same. I don't have any engines on this layout because I wasn't planning on doing a video on it. I didn't think it changed that much. Sadly, it did. Well, not sadly. I mean, it changed for the best. But that's what happens when you get a big thing like Knapford Station and really don't know how you're going to fix it into the layout. So anyway, um, I guess it changed for the better. And I really like the way this layout is set up now. Um, the branch line is finally back to the way it was. Uh, it leads back into Natford like it should have. <clears throat> and then they can go on into the docks with no troubles whatsoever. And they can... And really, the branch line trains can stay out of the way of the, of the main line trains. And I find that really, really nice. Except if they're at Natford or they're going back to... Tidmouth or something like that, but still. Um, there won't be any confusion and delay, as the swag controller would say. So, anyway, thanks for watching this little layout video. Um, there's two layout videos of Midland Sodor now. I don't know, I don't know. What should I call the, uh, the sequel? Revenge of Midland Sodor or something? I don't know. Maybe? Kind of like Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen, Revenge of the Midland Soda War or something, I don't know. You know, that's actually kind of nice. I may, I just might, I just might title it that. But anyway, enough rambling. Go ahead and give you an overview, kind of like I'm Harold, and I'm going to nuke everything. So yeah, it's pretty big. Very nice. And I like this part, and I kind of like this a bit better than the, um old, older layout, like the first Midland Sodor that was ever built. But anyway, um, yeah, thanks for watching, and, 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 and once again, thanks to Ted for, uh, pointing out how I could use the T-switch, and, uh, Ted, you really shaped my layout and made it a lot better, so thanks for your insight on that, and keep your eyes peeled, guys, for the next story in Season 4, of course, and, well, that's pretty much it. So, see y'all later.